Hey guys, so I just got back from MGM Signature and this video is gonna be a tour of a penthouse studio unit in MGM Signature on the south side. Oh, actually, sorry, on the east side, looking over the airport, Top Golf, and all the city going that way. So if you wanna take a look at that view and what makes a penthouse studio a penthouse studio, take a look at this video. Here you go. Oh, and of course, I am doing this for one of my clients, and if you wanna be one of my clients, I will do this exact same video for you as well for your unit that you're looking at here in Las Vegas. All right, into the video. All right, let me spin this camera around, and I'm gonna start at the front door of this unit, and we will kind of do a whole walkthrough, and of course, this is gonna be a detailed walkthrough, so I'm gonna spend a lot of time on little things. <laughs> so here we are. First, I'll just do a run-through of the floor plan. Now, this is a penthouse studio in MGM Signature, and what makes this a penthouse? Well, it's on a high floor, but in Las Vegas, we have many floors of penthouses sometimes. Here's your view you got. Uh, you got Top Golf right over here. You have the airport with the airplanes taking off, and then you have the uh, second tower next to you actually over here. So what makes this a penthouse? Well, the 29th floor and above in MGM Signature is classified as a penthouse. And one of the best things that I think that um, is a plus for being in a penthouse level unit is that it is um, taller ceilings. This is a 10 foot tall ceilings in this studio unit. All the other ones are going to be nine foot, um, nine foot tall, right? So that is one of the big benefits of this. Now I want to start in the bathroom uh, for my detailed walkthrough and then I'll work my way down to the windows. But for you guys that are just trying to figure out what the layout looks like, here we are. And giant doors right here too for being able to be handicap accessible or for, uh, well, I guess with wheelchairs or anything else like that. But let's get into it. All right, and of course, like and subscribe if you wanna see more content about real estate in Las Vegas. Talk to you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go through this. Um, this property, I walked through it already. It actually looks really good. I am very, very happy because this is a bank owned property. Yes, bank owned. This is not something that's common in Las Vegas anymore. We were number one way back in the day, but not so much anymore. I am noticing that there's some water spots over here. It looks like those could just be wiped up. You have your original television here, of course. That is great. And then going through here, Yep, I see, well, it's it's just cosmetic. There's some stuff, uh, water, dried water that's there that's not bad. And then I'm gonna go open these doors as well so we can take a look at all of the dirty secrets that this property may unveil. Let me see, I'm not sure what that is, that's interesting. Um, oh, I know exactly what that is. That's from these bolts right here. When they line up, they hit it like that. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so we're looking underneath and I don't see any um, active leaks happening. It looks like it's okay, but it looks like this is some rubbing and this is some rubbing here. So there may have been work on this plumbing in the past. There you go. And of course, I'm not a plumber, but I actually just uh, have owned a lot of properties and done uh, property management for myself uh, before. Here we go. Oh, there we go. All these drawers so far are functioning correctly. And you have some cosmetic wear and tear um, along this side. But man, this unit, actually, when I walked inside, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it for the price that we're getting it for. Here we are. And this actually looks perfect. It doesn't look like anything's ever dripped um, in there. That actually looks very good. There we go. And then going into the bathroom area or the water closet, as we like to call it sometimes, Everything looks pretty good. Let's open this up just so we can see. Yep, looks like a toilet and it's not running. <laughs> and you get your art on the wall in here. Now I'm just kind of looking around just so you can get an idea of a little bit of everything. Now let's check the nemesis of all MGM Signature properties is how is the grout doing? Is it clean? Is it dirty? What is it? And it actually looks okay. A little dirty. It could be used some cleaning, but not that bad. Okay, great, cool. Yep, there we go. I'm just kind of looking all the way through and see, all right, not bad, looks good. Here we are. 
Perfect. And it looks like actually this property, um, up until being uh, taken back by the bank, was um, being rented out through Jet Luxury. Jet Luxury is a third party rental company here in Las Vegas that does short term rentals. Um, and they're huge in MGM signature. And I'm gonna go through, I'm just panning through the ground because I don't see anything, but I don't want to miss anything. I'd like to get everything on camera here because this client has not been in this unit before and um, I'm sure he'll come down and take a look. But if in the event that he doesn't have time, which is not uncommon with purchasing properties in Las Vegas, um, I want to make sure I can show you everything. But if you are looking at an MGM signature property, um, you have three different options. Uh, to be able to, um, three three different options to rent your property out. This looks like it's never been used. There we go, perfect. Um, one is to have a, the let me see what I said. One of them is to have a third party, like Jet Luxury, to be able to rent out your property for you. They do a split, sometimes it's 20%, 25%, I've heard different things, but you're gonna have to talk with them on whatever their split is. Um, there's also another company called Strip View Suites, um, they are the same exact thing, just a third party rental company that can do that for you. And they, um, of course, do the management, give you um, a split of whatever it is, the 25 or 30 percent or 20 or 25 percent is what I've heard in the past. Uh, or you could have MGM Signature rent the property out for you. And MGM Signature will take about a 50 percent split. And, uh, you know, that can be add up, but it's hands off completely. You don't have to do anything. Um, and you know, you rent it out, it's cash flowing while you're not here. And whenever you come into town, you can actually use your unit. Um, here we go. Or the third and final way is you could be uh, very, uh, uh, what, is it? Is it, what is it when you're hands on? When you're a hands on owner, <laughs> you'd be very hands on um, and you could rent the property out yourself using a third party rental platform. Airbnb is one of the biggest. Then you have VRBO and then anything else, booking.com. There's so many different platforms. Um, I would use Airbnb, but I was just because I'm partial to them because I've used them a lot in the past and they, with good success. Um, so you could do that. And if you do rent it out yourself, usually that's the best way uh, to get the highest return. And I'm just going to kind of open these up just to make sure everything's working correctly. Here we go. And then this is locked. So I don't know how to open that one. Um, I bet you maintenance would have a key that could open that up or a trick to open that one up. Here we are. And one thing I did notice is that all the lights seem to be working correctly. It is a huge thing for lights to be burnt out, especially in the closets, because no one ever returns or replaces them. And usually no one complains because they don't even know that there's a light in there, that they're out but they are there and, uh, and it's actually functioning correctly, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> it's the details in these units. This looks good. And you have your cups and your bowls and your plates all ready to go for you. I like small cups, small coffee cups for me. I always think, I feel, you know, I feel very fancy <laughs> if I have my small coffee cup. And uh, here we go. Looking this on, or turning this on, and this is just, um, you know, this is not an inspection. I'm not an inspector, but I do like to just test things out as I go uh, because this, um, you know, the clients, again, are a lot of the times they're out of town and this actually is looking good. Look at this. I have dust here because it's just been sitting. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, a lot of clients are out of town and, you know, they just don't know. They want to, I want to make sure that they can make the best informed decision for themselves. Here we are. Ooh, soft closed drawers. Love that. Perfect. And again, this is a real detailed walkthrough uh, for one of my clients. And if you want to be one of my clients, I'll do the exact same thing for you guys. And uh, I do all high rise condos here in Las Vegas. And of course, actually, we do a lot of things. I notice here, um, this is here, but is not down here. So, you know, if you wanted to and down here you would have to replace those too. I don't think that's gonna affect your rental rate. <laughs> Here we are. And this is cold, so it seems like it is functioning correctly. I actually had another property recently. Oh, let's head under here that uh, the refrigerator was out and the air conditioner was out. Both of them had Freon leaks. So that can get a little bit pricey, but we wanna know what it is uh, before, before we actually get into it. And this looks okay. This just looks dirty. We just got some dirt here. 
Here we go. And then, oh yes, I love these drawers um, in MGM Signature. These are so cool. And I think I should get some in my house. Like I'm gonna be building a house here in a bit. And yeah, I think I wanna do that. Because <laughs> they're so handy. How often do you have, oh, look at this. So I just wanna show this right here. It is delaminating right there, but it's only on the back side. I don't see anything on the front. There we go. Now let's get into the actual, um, the, the furniture themselves, because sometimes units can be really worn down with the furniture. Uh, but you know, like just like this, they chose to do dark, dark colors, and you can see all of the nicks that um, are on these things. Here we go. And there we are. Gonna do a little 360 view on this table. And you do have some nicks down here. But all of this is pretty par for the course for MGM Signature, and we're going through. Oh, and you know what? I didn't test this light. Is this working? It is! <laughs> Very cool. And then coming through over to here, uh, we have our side table, which looks fantastic. Everything looks pretty good here. And then we have our chair. Let's get into this side and see how worn it looks. Not bad. You do, I mean, it does look like it's been used. Of course, all of this furniture has been used. This is not a unit that was never put into the rental pool program. And you know what? Someday, so usually when properties like this, they're gonna do a refresh on their condos and then the owners will pay some kind of assessment or fee for having a full refresh. And you know, I'm really looking forward to what they do with MGM Signature. This property right here, didn't test this light either. And now it's on, perfect. Uh, because I, they usually cost for a studio 10,500, you know, 10,000 range is what I've seen, whether it be in Palms Place, in Trump, and I'm sure someday in MGM Signature. Um, but when you do that, I mean, this, it really brings the place to life, right? Here we go. Gets refreshed, and then I would assume you could get higher rental rates um, after that is done. There we go. Huge drawer. Little, uh, not as smooth sliding as the other ones, but it is working. There we go. And then just looking at the bed area as well, really nothing you can do with that one. This looks good. Oh, we have a loose string here. We can trim that off. Perfect. And the floors look great in this unit. I didn't notice anything. Uh, now I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is the entire unit. So again, I hope this detailed walkthrough for this MGM Signature penthouse unit, which starts on the 29th floor and goes all the way to the top, um, was helpful for you guys. And of course, if you need any help with real estate in Las Vegas, I'm happy to help. Give me a call or shoot me a text, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Talk to you.